five principles involved in this toolkit, which he calls the formula, are as follows. Number one, act on your highest passion. Number two, act on it for as long as you can, taking it as far as you can, until you can take it no further. Number three, take these actions with absolutely no insistence, no assumption of what the outcome is supposed to be. Number four, stay in a positive state no matter what happens. And number five, explore your belief systems and let go of the fear-based or negative ones or definitions that are outdated and don't work for you anymore. Now, why does this work? The reason it works is because <clears throat> acting on your passion, passion, what is passion? What is excitement? What is that creativity? What is that attraction? Bashar explains it as <clears throat> we have a physical mind and we have a higher mind, a non-physical mind. The non-physical higher mind is the portion of us that still exists completely in spirit, in our natural state. The portion that guides us, watches over us as part of that spirit is having this physical dream. So the way that the higher mind guides us is by speaking to us and sending us messages, but because it's non-physical, it comes in the form of energy. Our physical bodies translate that message, that energy, as the sensation we call passion, excitement, attraction, creativity, love. So when situations come to us <clears throat> that attract us strongly, that get us excited, that are representative of something that is our passion in life, that is the higher mind saying, this is your path. This is the next step for you on that path. This is who you truly are. This is the vibration of your true self. When we are willing to take action on those things, on that passion, <clears throat> we are responding to the higher mind saying, yes, I heard you. It's the actions that are important though, <clears throat> because action is the language of physical reality, not words, not thoughts, but physical actions. When we take those physical actions, we are responding to the higher mind. We're saying, I heard you. I'm willing to believe that you are guiding me, that this is truly the next step on my path. And I'm willing to jump into it. I'm willing to explore it. I'm willing to be who I truly am. Willing to be who you have pointed out to me that I am, because this is my true soul's vibration. So the idea of acting on it <clears throat> is the first step in the toolkit. The willingness to take that action is absolutely necessary to get the ball rolling. Now, it doesn't have to be a grand adventure. It doesn't have to be a life-spanning career or some enormous project. Acting on your passion can be at a very simple everyday level. On any given day, you have a number of things that you are able to take action on. You can take a walk, you can read a book, you can talk to a friend, you can eat a meal, you can watch a movie. If you don't have any life-spanning activity that really gets you going, you can start simply and let it build. <clears throat> so look around to the abilities, the actions, the choices that are available to you to take action on, on any given day and find the one that has even just the tiniest bit more attractiveness, even just the tiniest bit more excitement in it than any other choice. Act on that first to the best you can, taking it as far as you can until you can take it no further. But the idea is, again, <clears throat> it can be something simple. And when you take action on that first, then you're allowing the organizing principle of synchronicity to come in and organize what happens in the next moment, in the next moment, in the next moment. If for some reason, two things or three things seem equally exciting, then you might as well flip a coin because sometimes flipping a coin can actually help you determine which is more exciting. You could say, all right, heads, I'll take path A. Tails, I'll take path B. And you flip the coin and it comes up tails and you go, oh darn, I wish it had been path A. Oh. I wish it had been path A. So that tells you right now that you have more attractiveness and more passion about path A. If 
after you do that, things are still equal, still equally exciting, more than one thing, you have equal ability to act on them, then it doesn't really matter which path you take. Because again, the organizing principle of synchronicity will come in. And if you are taking the path and taking the actions that are not necessarily in your best interest, synchronicity will cause circumstances to happen that will turn you right back around to the other path. Because again, you have to let synchronicity and the higher mind be your guide. You have to listen to them. The idea of the higher mind is like a version of yourself that's standing on the mountaintop looking down into the valley. The physical mind lives down in the valley. It can't see around the next bend, but the higher mind can. And therefore the higher mind by sending you these messages that contain your vibration of passion, of who you truly are, are guiding you to say if you act on this, <clears throat> you will go down the right path for you. When you ignore it, when you don't act on it, then you could fall into a hole because you're thinking, well, I know better, I'm gonna go this way, and that's not necessarily the path that is actually working for you.